The following video is a recap of Magmar Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I cover the second community day that we got for the first time ever in this game involving one of the Pokemon from the Kanto region. In this instance, Magmar, which Shiny Magmar confirmed, and of course, a special research and a limited time research also involved here. This community day was amazing and special because I caught a lot of shinies and one of them was a rare gem which you will see later on at the end of this video and of course my third and fourth magmar ended up being my first and second shinies I ended up catching back to back and of course as for the research starting with the time research tasks which were the easiest to complete all I had to do was power up a Pokemon five times catch five magmar make three nice throws and of course my rewards for this were 60 great balls one Sinnoh stone each for two of the three tasks and of course the research rewards were two more Sinnoh stones and 1000 XP as for the special research events in this game no match for Magmar. I had to power up a Pokemon 10 times, which gave me 10 Pokeballs. Catch 15 Magmar, which gave me 20 Magmar candies. And make 5 nice throws, which awarded me a Magmar encounter. And of course, for completing these tasks, I was awarded 2,000 Stardust, 10 Pineapple Berries, and a Magmar encounter. Step two, I had to catch 15 Magmar, which my reward for that was 50 Magmar candies, transfer 10 Pokemon, which the reward was 500 Stardust, and use 15 Pinet Berries to catch a Pokemon, which gave me a Sinnoh Stone, and the rewards for this step were 2,000 Stardust, 1 Incense, and 1 Poffin. Step 3, the rewards for making 3 Great Throws were 50 Magmar Candies, 2 Golden Raspberries for evolving 1 Magmar, and 1,000 
500 XP for transferring 10 Pokemon each. The rewards for completing this step were 2,000 Stardust, 1 Incense, and 1 Rocket Radar. And of course, for the last and final step, which of course you automatically claim, for completing step 3 are 5,000 Stardust, 1,500 XP, and 500, I mean 5 Silver Pineapp Berries, and of course, the wrap up, the special research, 2,000 Stardust, 3 Rare Candies, and a Magmatar Encounter. Unfortunately, I was not able to do the photobomb this time, nor was I able to do any of the field research quests, and I wasn't able to get any eggs for Magby. Hopefully, the next community day, I'll be able to complete the equivalent of, of these tasks and possible field research. And of course, I'll never forget this amazing community day as one of the shinies, as I said earlier, was one of the special ones I got. Well, this community day was definitely an exciting one. My final shiny count, 22. Yes, I caught 22 shiny Magmar, including a Shundo, which is a shiny Pokemon with 100% perfect IVs. It's my second one ever. The first one I caught was two years ago during Bulbasaur Community Day behind the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And of course, I couldn't be happier as it is one of my rarest gems in my collection. This is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also during these times when going out, wear a mask, practice social distancing, wash your hands, always carry hand sanitizer, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will get through this together.